Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to factory reset your Toshiba Satellite C55 laptop to factory settings. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial in store for you guys today. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the start menu just by left clicking on the start button one time. And you want to type in reset. Best match should say reset this PC right above system settings. Just left click on this best match one time to open up this new screen here. Now if we direct our attention over to the right side underneath recovery, reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstall as Windows. Left click on this get started button right here. So we're going to have two options to choose from. The first would be to keep your files, which will remove apps and settings, but keeps your personal files. And even though it says keeps your personal files, I would still highly suggest making a backup of any important files or documents to an external medium, like a flash drive or CD or DVD. And the second option removes everything, which will remove all of your personal files, apps, and settings. Because we want to do a true factory reset for this tutorial, I'm going to select the second option to remove everything. And there's a couple more prompts we're going to have to go for. We're going to have to go through before we actually get to the reset process. So just pull, hang in there, be patient. So it's going to ask if you want to clean the drive as well. The first option is just remove your files. It's going to be most applicable if you just are going to be using your computer again. If you're going to be donating it or giving it to somebody else, I would suggest using the second option to remove files and clean the drive. However, like I said, the first option, just remove your files, will also be a little bit quicker. So that's what I'm going to select for this tutorial. And finally, we're going to have to confirm that resetting will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC all apps and programs and any changes made to settings. This will take a while and your PC will restart. Left click on this reset button to begin this process. It will take some time, so please be patient, let it run.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here, it should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Hello everyone, I'm back. So our Toshiba Satellite C55 laptop has been restored back to factory settings. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.